the Audi RS Q e-tron is an icon in Audi's strive to create electrifying moments in motorsports. We meet our current drivers that share a deep connection to Audi's heritage and their own histories in rally, to understand the challenge that is the Dakar Rally and the foundation upon which the new Audi RS Q e-tron is built. I was lucky enough to join Audi Sport on their mission to electrify motorsport at their debut performance at the Rally Dakar 2022. Now, let's take a look behind the curtain to learn about the wealth of experience the driving team has and the advancements the team has made on their journey of progress with the new Audi RS Q e-tron. Even for drivers with years of experience, the Rally Dakar is a massive undertaking. We now join three-time Rally Dakar winner and Audi Sport pilot Carlos Sainz, where it all began for him in 2006. We're here in the Malaga Harbour. Why is this an important place for you? Malaga Harbour was the port of departure to my first Dakar. At that time, I didn't know exactly what was going to be. I was coming from doing many years uh, World Rally Championship. I remember starting in Lisbon and doing a couple of stages and then entering Spain to catch up the boats. It was special, of course, a lot of Spanish fans Good memories from those first two Dakars. It's amazing to see this futuristic car drive through the city of Malaga. So same place like the first Rally Dakar for you, but technology-wise, everything's changed, right? You can imagine this is such a high-tech car. I felt very comfortable driving the car. I felt no issue jumping in this new technology. When I finished the prologue and I came second, just a few seconds behind, it was like, wow, it's, it's working and, and it's fast. And, I think we can put some challenge on that. We are not far. I think we make such a good job last year that we, we need to fine tune a little bit everything. I was dreaming to win the one stage and it came. I'm dreaming to win the race and why not? I'm sure it can, it can come. To get up to speed with where the Audi Sport team is right now, we join Audi Sport pilot Matthias Ekstrem on the ground in the middle of the testing phase with the new Audi RSQ e-tron. Carlos told me his first Dakar back in the day was really special for him. How is it for you now starting your second rally? I felt doing the first one, I was very nervous because you don't know anything. But I feel now more, how to say, calm in one way, but also then the expectations rises a bit. So I would say it's someone enjoyable, pressure, nervousness and excitement to go on the rally. The new car looks a little bit different, but what exactly is new? It's mainly the weight, the better aerodynamic. Uh, from inside, we have more visibility. The braking distances get shorter, so where you have a reference from the past, you drive past 10, 20 meters every time and then hit the brake. So the car just feels faster everywhere. The mindset from the team is uh, obvious. Everybody wants to fight for the win hard work beats any talented person or any talented team in the world. And if you can get both together, then you become unstoppable. So I don't see any reason why we shouldn't go with the ambition to win the running. 